What's up, everybody? Jason here for JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. 2022 Topps Chrome Jumbo Baseball just sold out. This is the A-Box Case Break Pick Your Teams number two. Again, all cards ship. And here are the customer names here that I bought in. If you have a little character sign, that means you won that from a team random. And uh, let me actually just show you guys a little bit zoomed in. My, my printer is just down right now. I don't know what the hell's wrong with it. So, um, so there you go. So, let's we'll switch things and do the break. But shouldn't it be harder to pull a one on one, though, Joe Pizzle? Doesn't that doesn't that mean that it's actually like a true one of one? Because wouldn't it be easier to pull one of ones? Wouldn't that mean like junk wax? I mean, you don't want it to be better off to pull one of one, right? Because I mean, is is it really truly that rare? Yeah, I think anything numbered is always going to stay valuable. That's for sure. I mean, during the pandemic, when everybody was just grading base cards and turning that $5 card to, yeah, to like a $100, four, 300 you know, $100 plus card and grading it, you know, for 20 25 bucks and turning it into like a $100 plus card, I mean, that was the time to be alive. <laughs> you know, base Zion prisms are going for like a thousand bucks. I mean, I can't even tell you how many Luka Doncic Prism Silvers we had here. Tens. And we only had them for like $150 before the pandemic happened. <laughs> it's ridiculous. I mean, for a lot of us, that was the first time getting back into a hobby, you know? I don't really even know how many people were actually with us pre-2020.
<laughs> I know, right, people? Remember that? How many, uh... How many 2019 optic boxes did you buy? I think, remember, for our grand opening, didn't you buy, like, six of them? <laughs> Granted, they were much more cheaper than 2020 around there, but... Or end of 2020. And what, weren't they like a hundred bucks or like a hundred and fifty bucks, I think, a pop? Something like that? Yeah, but you have to remember this, Travis. People back then, people back then were complaining about that price. <laughs> There's always people complaining, man. You can never get it right. Now I think people just appreciate how cheap it once was. People back in the day when they were paying like 200 bucks for a prison box, you know, 150. Oh man, that's expensive. <laughs> it's so crazy. Flawless, flawless briefcases like basketball and football weren't like even a thousand bucks, I think. Now they're like, what are they, like 10,000? Something stupid. It's like, man. The good old days. I know, Brian. How, how, you know, I don't, I haven't obviously spoken to you in a while, and man. I hope you're doing well, but how, how did. How do you feel about what everything that happened to him, man? Do you, are, are you not worried, you know? Do you believe, you know, it was just kind of like a mistake or or what, you know? Because, you know, obviously that was some big news. You know, I personally think he'll be fine. His market might have hit, taken a big hit, especially his high, high-end stuff. But, I mean, I just hope, obviously, it's just like a one-time deal, right? I mean... I think a lot of them kind of say is, you know, a little immature, right? Oh, yeah, remember that? Yeah, I think for you, I think you're more of a collector first, right? But, you know, if, if this didn't happen and Tatis, you know, was MVP and, you know, they won a couple World Series, I mean, then obviously maybe some of that stuff becomes available. But I think for you, right, it's just, you're not selling it anyway, so whatever. All right. Alec Thomas. It just seems like to me, though, for Tatis's market, he's, he's going to have to come back and obviously never get caught again if he ever does it again. But um, I think it's going to be some significant stuff is going to have to happen. He's going to have to have, like, one of the craziest years of his career. And he they might have to win a World Series, honestly. I mean, Pizzle, we'll see how it is when they finally get the licensing to everything. You know, obviously that's not until, what, 2025? Obviously there's rumors out there of potentially them buying Panini, but... You know, I'm not going to read into it too much until it actually happens, but... We'll see. Hopefully for the better, but... You know, a lot of people obviously do not have faith, which is fine. There's already been big changes... You know, in the hobby, when it came, when it comes to facts taking over already, 
you know, with Tops, making some some pretty bold moves. You know, getting rid of potentially like you know GTS as their biggest supplier of wholesale and cutting them out. So I mean, you know, we'll see how they take that direction of either going direct to consumer, you know, selling exclusively to themselves. I mean, but you know, change is scary. But I'm I'm hoping it's for the better. But you know, obviously. Whatever plans they have, they got big plans, and I'm sure it's going to take some time for them to establish what they want to do. But, yeah, I, I think until until uh, until all the big changes happen and they finally get the licensing for all the sports, basically, minus hockey and stuff, then, then we'll see by then where they're at. Jose Siri. Tony Kershaw. Mike Zanino. And again, these purple, these speckles are kind of hard to look at the autograph sometimes. I think you were right, Pizzle, about that earlier. You got Joe Ryan, number to 250. Chris Bryant, it's just a base. Well, that's what I'm saying. It's a lot harder. I've already missed like two autographs already, ripping all these boxes. Like, they, they didn't white it out, so it's easier for me to, like, just kind of skip over it and just... I don't even know there's an auto there, you know? Jansen Junk. So it's, like... He's a little tough on the eye. It's kind of kind of had to slow down just a little bit. Wonder Franco. Wonder Franco base there. Checking the... Uh, Yeah, I think I feel like they did do like a little white up, but I think Oliver's right. It's it's more gray than anything. See that like kinda how it fades up? On card, but the auto does sound a lot good on refractors, though, I must say. Negative Kyle Seeger. Zach Lothar, Corey Seager, Showtime, Hans Kroos,
box has been a little bit easier with the cards sticking to each other. Like some of them are still getting stuck here and there, but the majority of the cards are actually not stuck in this one. So maybe this case is just a little different. We got Miguel Sanchez. Number to 150, Jaron Duran. All right, let's continue on. Bueller, we got Brandon Belt to 99. And is that a little short print? No, it's not. Kevin Smith. It was, I'm telling you, the blue really just makes it really tough to see it. Ernie Clement. It's one I don't know. That one has a little bit of chip on the corner there. Drew Ellis. So just the first two boxes, Pizzle. Come on, man. Boom, boom. Marcos, B plan. Wander Franco. I know Pizzle. It's all good, man. I'm not too worried about that. Trevor Larnich. Trust me, you're not the only person to potentially complain about any product ever. <laughs> Siebel. Joe Adele. And Brian De La Cruz. To 150. Nice one there from Miami. That's one of people's. Nice O'Neal Cruz. This box has been great, actually. Not many cards have been stuck so far in, like, half this box. Alfonso Rivas. Yanni Hernandez.
I was gonna say, what the hell are you talking about, Pizzle? Speaking into the future or something? Speaking into existence? Co R negative. Boom. Last box here, and then we'll go with the next four. Kyle Seeger. Rostin Contreras. Thompson refracted to four ninety nine. Tony. Eli Morgan to two fifty, Matt Olson. Chase McCormick. And at a 99, Austin Hayes. That's a green club threads. Turn around and Siri right there. He decided to sign up here when he was supposed to be signing right here. Playing Kershaw, Wander Franco. Those damn Astro players. I guarantee you that he wanted to sign him vertical like this, not like this. So he's just like, yeah, I'm just going to sign him this way. Instead of actually signing him the way he's supposed to. He's like, I'm not turning my head.
you guys. First half done. Second half coming up. Uh, the schedule is pinned in the chat, Jeff. If you want to click that link, I'm on Topps Chrome Jumbo, Pikachu number two. So that link right there gives you a uh, look at our break schedule that we have in our Google Doc. Thank you, Nightbot. Julio Rodriguez super short print, Matthew. How does that sound? It does, Matthew. I hope I pull one. <laughs> Looks like everybody is trying to pull one of those stuff. Unfortunately, Jeff, we do not. Every up, every video is uploaded here, so in case you do miss it, um, but the break schedule that we do daily is kind of the best way to kind of go about it. You know, a lot of customers just frequently check the website. Now, of course, if it does say sold out, it could mean that potentially I just haven't gone through order, so that's why it's not on the schedule, or it could mean that there's a filler right next to the break that we need to sell out to unlock it. But yeah, I think just frequently checking the website and then also checking that break schedule. You know, we break seven days a week from 3 to 11. As you can see, tonight's a little bit longer night. But um, yeah, I, I think that Chrome 4 would probably go tomorrow, to be honest. Not tonight. And then same thing with that Skybox. I think 10 sold out. But number 11, of course, we just reposted that not too long ago. So that'll probably go tomorrow at some point too, so... That, that link that's in the chat and that keeps on dropping and pinned, I think that's the best case scenario. Uh, but like I said, if you do miss it, you know, I know it might be a bummer, but all the videos are recorded, so obviously there's no, no need to worry too much. But yeah, that, that schedule link is kind of the best way. Once it sells out officially and we're live, obviously the breaker that's breaking that day will 
we'll add a, a, a estimated time of when it's gonna break and you know all that good stuff but hopefully in the future we can have some type of type of like a uh, alert schedule alert but for the time being nothing like that but good luck man thank you for buying with us For sure, man. Have a great night. For sure, yeah, yeah, that'd be awesome. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, man. Yeah, that's something I, I know we've been talking about, too. Um, doing some type of alert system but we do actively do like discount codes and all that good stuff through the text exclusively sometimes and through email exclusively so by you signing up there that's also a little plus right there All right, here we go. Greg Deitchman. So far today, Je uh, Jeff, we've only done Hobby 1, and then this is Jumbo Pikachu number 2. So we've done three cases so far today. We did two cases of Immaculate. We did a case of Merlin today. We did our Jaspi Hipparate case today. You know, obviously, Merlin and Top Scrum are kind of a little bit more time consuming, so about an hour of break. But yeah, we've only done Jumbos 1 and 2 and Hobby 1. So I, obviously, the rest will probably go tomorrow. Jesse Winker. Come on, Cruz. No problem, man. If you have any other questions, man, just I'll try to answer them the best I can. Mookie, Adam Frazier, Josiah Gray. Botantis. Anthony Bender. Whoa! First time I seen one of these autographed. Christian Yelich for the Brewers. Number two ninety nine. Um, that is Milwaukee Brewers going to Matthew. It's pretty sweet. Zach Thompson. Number to three ninety nine. And a little wonder Frank there.
All right, here we go. Next box. We got San Martin. Brian Reynolds. Jonathan India. We have a Tyler Glass now for TV. Alex Wells. And a Mitch Hanniger. Purple Speckle to two ninety nine. And Alec Manoa. Oh, it's just the base. Damn. I thought that was short printed. Franco and TJ Cincinnati Reds Jesse Winker again to four ninety nine. Nice first good color of a rookie. How about a Wander Franco? There you go. That's gonna go to the Rays and Demetrius. That is one fifty two out of two fifty. Nicely centered Wander Franco as well. I will take that. There you go. Yeah, the purple does pop, right? All right, two more boxes, guys. We got Spencer Watkins. Brandon Woodruff. And Kirloff, number two, 250. AJ Alexi.
Ooh, I think we got our first orange coming up. And it's a Freddie Freeman orange for the Braves going to Matthew. That's nice. So, uh, yeah, 7 out of 25. Payne Henry. Matt Chapman. Michael Brantley for the Astros. <laughs> I know, right, Charles? Jesus. Like Brantley, that was the first time I seen a Brantley. All right, last one here, guys. Again, <laughs> Astros is killing these breaks. McCutcheon. Alexander Wells. Ooh, our first gold is coming up too. Wow, Royce Lewis gold. That looks beautiful. Minnesota Twins. Sean Peoples with that one. 37 of 50. Luis Fries. Hill Park. And another use fries. This time it's actually just a refractor though. Verdugo. Drew Ellis Green. And there you have it, 
folks. We'll do a quick little recap there. <laughs> Dusty Bake. All right, well, I'll top load these autographs here, but these are the last, like, two boxes here that came out. Kirloff, where that was nice, and then here's the rest of them. Marin, Deichman, Winker, Frazier, Bender, Wells, Mitch Hanniger, TJ Friedel, Winker again, Chris and Gellich, Brewers, Siebel, De La Cruz, Rivas, Hernandez, Contreras, Thompson, Morgan, little relic there, McCormick, Siri, Isaiah, Crawford, Zanino, Junk, Dill, Lothar, Kraus, Sanchez, Smith, Alec Thomas. We did get a gold Royce Lewis, a little orange Freddie Freeman, and then didn't manage to get a Wander Franco. Not an autograph, just a base, but hey, I'm sure those will probably sell pretty well. So that was pretty nice. So appreciate you guys. This is Jumbo number two, jazbeescasebreaks.com.